I'm going to show you my best setup in this video using USD card as a live example. But before going to the chat, if you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Divine. You know this talk. My name is Divine. Just like, subscribe, share, and like this video. I will see you on the chat. All right. Let's analyze USD card and possibly see what entries we're going to be having for the week. That means let's know what price is going to be doing on USD card. For us to know what price is going to be doing on USD card this week, we want to simply understand where price is coming from and where price is heading to. And we want to understand that on the daily time frame. That means on the daily time frame, we want to simply understand where price is coming from and possibly where price is heading to. And for us to understand where price is coming from and where price is heading to, there are steps we have to take. The first step is to zoom in properly and see the, the overall trend of the market. That means we want to see everything that is on the market. And you can see closely, that to zoom in, you can simply see that price is simply coming from this downside and price is heading to this upside. Next thing we want to do is to simply understand where support and resistance is because that's going to help us to understand what we're going to do next. Now, this is simply the support. And here is simply the resistance. And if you have to interpret this support and resistance, we can tell you that anytime price comes to the resistance, price reacts. And anytime price comes to the support, price as well reacts. Price is basically respecting support and resistance. Now, what I want to know is now is to see if price is going to respect this current support that price is currently at by simply heading to the resistance level, or price is going to fail the current support by simply going down more. And for us to understand that, I want to simply understand where the key levels are and be able to use key levels to understand what price is likely going to do next. And if you have to identify the key level, you can simply use here as our key level. This is our key level here. And this is also our key level. Now, key levels are simply points where price made a last reaction from on a particular trend. Now, our interest now is to understand if price is going to fill this support zone here and simply go to the downside, or price is simply going to respect the support and move to the recent level because price is moving from one, one point of support to one point of resistance and for us to know if price is going to fill the support level we want to simply understand how price behave from this support key level and how price is behaving at the recent key level we want to simply understand how price is simply reacting from how price is simply behaving from the recent key level down to the support key level on the four hours time frame we want to understand if price is simply going to respect the support key level that we identified on the daily time frame to know if it's going to respect it and go to this key level here or price is simply going to fill this support key level here and for us to understand that i want to simply understand how price moved from this recent key level down to this support key level by simply identifying the market structure and if you look close from this other side you can see clearly that price is simply giving us a low a high a low that means i have to be a high for them to know if it's going to be another low or for the high to continue. We are not sure yet. We are only assuming. Now, for us to understand if price is simply going to go to this support key level and fail it, or price is simply going to go to the recent key level, we want to understand how price gave us supply and demand zones from this trend, from these key levels here. What are the supply and demand zones that price printed when price was coming from this point to this point? And if you look closely here, the first point of supply that price gave us is simply at this point here. First supply, where price gave us a drop, a base, and a drop. Now, the next point of supply is simply at this point here. Right? Now, since price was coming from this key level, recent key level to this support key level, price gave us only two supply zones. We want to basically refine the supply zones and be able to know what we're going to do next on the one hour time frame. That means on the one hour time frame, we're basically refining the supply zones to become point of interest and know how price behaved at the first point of interest to know if price is likely going to conduct to the upside or price is going to fail the support level. And for us to define these zones, we want to simply use any candlestick pattern that we can, we can identify there as our point of interest. And if you look closely, we can clearly use this particular one here as our point of interest, right? These are our first POI here, and this is going to likely be our second POI. This point that price gave us this candlestick here now our interest is to understand how price behaved at this first poi to know if price is going to continue to the downside or price is going to continue to the upside and for us to do that we want to simply pull this thing to this side to understand how price behaved 
at this point. Now, when price got to this support, this POI here, price gave us every reason to sell. That means there was liquidity at this point, and price got liquidity, and price even gave us a chain of character. But we can clearly see price filled. So this point basically filled. What happened next when price filled? When price filled, price started inducing liquidity. Equal high, equal, equal low, which is expressed as sell side liquidity, and equal high is here, which is referred to as buy side liquidity. That means when price filled this POI or when price filled this first point of interest, price gave us sell side liquidity and price also gave us buy side liquidity. We want to basically understand how price behaved after price induced this liquidity at this point here. And I can clearly see price gave us a liquidity sweep here. That means price first of all took out this sell side liquidity and then went for a liquidity grab. But still then what happened? Price failed. That means we have taken another loss at this point here for a buy, had it been we were taking this entry. Now, when price took out both liquidities, what did price do? Price gave us a supply zone, which is simply a drop, a base, and a drop. So currently, this is the recent supply zone that price printed. And we want to identify this point as our recent supply zone here. Now, having identified this recent supply zone here, you want to simply go to the 15 minute time frame and refine this zone to become a point of interest on the 15 minute time frame. Now, if I refine this zone, we can simply use this point here as our point of interest, right? And clearly going to pull it to where price is currently at to understand what price is going to likely do next. So this is basically going to be our new POI. Our interest is to simply see how price is going to be at this point to know if we're going to buy or if we're going to sell. Remember, the whole goal is to understand if price is going to fill the support key level and head to the resistance key level, or price is basically going to fill the support key level and even go down more. For us to understand that, we want to simply see how price is being at this point by simply allowing price to induce the at this point. That means an entry on this particular pair is a way for price to make a reaction. The first point of reaction is simply this. We want to see, see price simply come to this zone and give us a change of character. Then we're going to look for a sell to this key level here. An entry from this point, target display as TP1 and probably here as full TP. And our stop loss is going to be right above this swing here. Now, this is going to be a sell opportunity for USD card if price open tomorrow and give us a reaction we're looking for. And what we're looking for is this. One price is simply begin to buy to the upside if price open tomorrow be Monday. Start buying to the upside. And when price gets to this point, once the price gives us a change of character, then we'll look for a sell opportunity. Now, for us to know if you're going to buy, we want to basically see price begin to go to the downside. Take out the liquidity and possibly come into this zone. Come into this zone and look for a buy opportunity. That means we are not predicting the market. We're only going to react to what price is going to do if price open tomorrow will be Monday. If price open tomorrow and start going to the downside, then we're going to give for a sell a buy opportunity if price comes into this zone here, taking out this liquidity and probably taking here as our TP1 and probably to the next point of interest, which is on the four hours time frame. That means an entry on USD card is to simply for price to make the reaction if price open tomorrow will be Monday. That if price open tomorrow will be Monday and start moving to the downside like this, it's my gosh, and start moving like this to the downside, the card is liquidity, come back here and give us a change of character, then we're going to be looking for a buy. This is going to be our first reaction if price are going to the downside. But if price open tomorrow and price starts heading to the upside, one price to cut liquidity and give us a change of character at this point here, and then look for a sell to this point here. Remember, we only want to understand if price is going to control to the upside to hit the resistance level, or price is going to fill the support level. Now, our conclusion in this particular video is to simply understand that we are looking to react to what price is doing, and we are not predicting the market. If price open tomorrow and start buying to the upside, then we want to look for a sell opportunity. But if price open tomorrow and start selling to the downside, then I'm going to look for a buy opportunity. That will be all for USD card. I will see you in the next video.
Peace.